I'm gonna keep it moving, be classy and graceful. I told him it's no friends in the game. You ain't okay, we're back with another video. And as you can already see by the title, you know what the fuck is going on. So, um, I just wanted to come to you guys with another um, entrepreneur episode. This is probably like three. Um, and kind of just catch y'all up on where... Um, I am at right now in my business and like where I've been and where the last has been and all that stuff. So if you do or don't know, then you know. I mean, if you do know, then you know. If you don't know, then you don't know. And I'm going to tell you. Um, I started my last business in 2017 of the summer. So it was like June-ish. Um, I was selling, I started selling mink lash strips. Um, I had a website. I had a, you know, a website and Instagram. Um, my starting out name was, um, I think, I think it was the Galop, I don't know, I think it was Poppin' Collections. It was Poppin' Collections was my started out name. And then I switched from Poppin' Collections to Glossy Minx. From Glossy Minx to the current name, which is Minx by Star. Currently, um, I have not been selling lashes. It's not that I don't have the lashes to sell because I do. Okay. I just have not had the motivation or the drive to um, sell lashes anymore. It's not that, okay, I can't say anymore. It's not that I don't want to continue with selling lashes. I just think right now on the path that I'm headed in, I think that selling lashes is not what I want to be doing as of right now. So what some of you probably don't know is that initially when I before I started selling lashes I wanted to sell hair hair um that plan didn't work out for a number of reasons now in today's time um over the past few weeks I've been looking back into selling hair I've been looking for vendors um on I've been looking for ways or yeah I've been looking for ways on how to purchase a vendor I've been looking for vendors I've been looking into vendors third party third party or the the actual distributor um and i've come up with nothing let me tell you but I don't, i'm not giving up i have found i have found a vendor that i do want to test i see this okay so the thing is this let me tell you i want to sell hair but it has to be some good quality hair and i know good quality hair i've been wearing hair for a long time okay i've been wearing weed for a long time so i know good quality hair i know good quality weed like i want my hair to be you know when you bleach and dye your hair or whatever and stuff. I want it to like easily take to the bleach. I want my 613 bundles to easily take to that dye when they even if they do the water method. I want my bundles to be perfect. I want after you bleached your hair a number of times, you done boiled your hair, you done put your hair in a plastic bag with some conditioner and sat in the microwave for two minutes. I want the hair to come out looking still flawless with with the, you know, luster and the in the, the feel good of it and the and the curl pattern or whatever pattern you guys should still be within the hair. So with all that being said, it's really, really hard to find an event like that. Um, and I've had some hair, which is how I know it's out there. I've had some hair that I did all that to. I didn't boil it. I didn't put it in the microwave. I didn't bleach it a number of times. I didn't, I didn't dyed it, like, you know, when you put it on yourself. And I didn't water dye it. And it's still... This is the closure. Let's just get into it, okay? This is, I've been had this hair, this closure, not this hair, not this hair, but this closure, I've been had this closure for a year now, okay? And so, I don't want to bash anybody, but I've been trying to wholesale from the person, and it's just not working out, so whatever. Moving on, Um, since I know that that type of hair is out there, it's kind of hard for me to kind of, like, you know, settle for less. Um, and then another thing with all these people that sell vendors and they want you to buy the vendors, I'm genuinely not into that. Like, I could do the research on my own. I have no problem. When I started my last business, everything that I know about lashes, every vendor that I've, that I've had, I still, I have a ton of vendors. I could sell a damn lash vendor book. I have a ton of vendors. But I found all that on my own. So I know that it is possible. So I'm not looking to buy vendors. And I had one person tell me that they charging $500 for, for that vendor. So I'm assuming that they fly to China themselves and meet with the vendor, consult, and feel the hair and all that. And they have to. If you charge them that much, I don't care how good your hair is, dude. Like, 
you gotta be nuanced. You gotta be. It gotta be something. Jesus has had to do something with that hair, and for you to be called the side hunter. All that to say, though, um, I'm definitely looking to expand to the hair business. Um, not just only hair, though. I do want to do wigs. Like I, I initially, when I said, when I first said in my head, like I want to start selling hair. It wasn't to sell like hair, like bundles, like by the bundle. I wanted to do wigs because that's a trend right now it's in and that's what i personally wear a lot so i just wanted to start off with wigs and then obviously you know expand out to bundles and all you know the separate bundles or whatever um it's really hard to find a wig a wig vendor too because that's not really in the like you don't a lot of people just mostly sell like bundles. It's not like that trend that's just like now everybody is, well, everybody's selling wigs, but it's not in a trend for just like a person to only sell wigs. Like you have your people that are selling bundles and wigs, but you don't have someone that's just only selling only wigs. Like you have a few people, but it's not like one of those big things that, where someone is trying to make like have a wig business. Like I want it to be a wig business. So like you don't have that many people. And then the ones you do have, they're um sticking with the information so that's that on that um back to the whole last thing and i'm probably all over the place but anyway back to the whole last thing um i'm just really like I'm, it's not that i'm not feeling it because like i said if you watch my previous um videos and how like me introducing my last business and all that jazz i am a certified last tech and so i did want to do the whole like you know doing the lashes you know individually or whatever like that but it's hard not like doing them but it's hard getting people to support you like you like people don't understand like when you're an entrepreneur you don't just get people lined up you know what i'm saying ready to buy from you you don't get people lined up ready to come get their head done come get their lashes done come get their makeup done no it takes time you have to build your clientele and you need people who are willing to let you whether it's practice on them or you know just willing to let you work with them so that you can build your clientele up and honestly you don't feel like that it takes a lot of time for you to even just get one person to support you let alone five okay so and i'm not trying to bash anybody but you just don't i i personally just don't have enough support to the point where i'm just like i'm going to just dedicate my whole life to individual action like i've been and don't get me wrong i promote myself and i try to do deals this that, and the third but it just never works out accordingly and I do have, like, some, like, my one friend, I have this one, not just only her, but, like, I have this one friend who is, like, super supportive. Like, I applaud her because she is so supportive, and she always comes through. I've done wigs. I've been doing wigs for a long time, so, I I mean, I, and then the thing about me don't, like, making a wig for somebody, this is so off track, but the thing, I mean, the thing about me making a wig for somebody, I only do it upon request. I don't promote that I make wigs. I should probably because I'm really good at it, but that's not something that i promote like you know like oh da, 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 I make wigs, da, da, da. no it's more so like i just do it upon request anyway i've made wigs for her i've practiced the lashes on her numerous of times i mean even when i had just got my lash certificate she was right in my crib when we was <laughs> doing it okay um she's then bought the minx lashes from me numerous of times you know so she's been a really 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 supportive friend and she's not the only one but i just applaud her and um specifically for that but honestly <clears throat> you just don't see a lot of that and that's why it's so hard for some people to get some people including myself to get off the ground with their businesses because they don't have that genuine support it's hard to get support from family friends from everybody it's just hard to get that support some people just don't believe in you or they just honestly it's like taking a risk so you just like i mean do i really want her to do my last she might mess up my i might i might get you know infected my clothes swell, or whatever case may be or you're going to put your you know pride to the side and put your you know whatever to the side and trust that person the same thing with hair when you're trying to do hairstyles it's just like i mean it look good on my pictures but i don't know or you know like dang she just started now she ain't in no shop she's still working at her house i don't know if i trust that and that's fine but that is the reason why it's so hard for you know, smaller biz, smaller black businesses and entrepreneurs to get off of the ground. In my case, that's why. So, um, honestly, and then also, I can't even say it's, it's also the support, but it's also consistency. I have a really hard time of being consistent, but I just feel like 
if I had more of like the support, I could be more consistent. I guess they should say that no, no, no motivation is all the motivation you need. Yeah, 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 whatever. It's easier said than done. I mean, yeah, it is. And you have that draft for like, you have that mindset and that draft for like a week. And then after that week, you're just like, all right, anyway, what else is out there? You know? But honestly, I've been doing the whole last thing for a while, which is why I didn't say that I, which is why I'm saying I don't want to be completely done with it. Um, I just want to like kind of take a step back and pursue something else. I feel like it's just something else I feel my name on it that I want to go for. Um, so that's really where I'm at with my business and where everything is going. Now, as far as like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I do have some lashes. I'm just not selling them. I actually have a few things. I have lashes and I have shades. Because if you remember, around the time when I had my pop-up shop, my first pop-up shop that I ever went to, um, and nobody came, but it's cool. Well, none of the people that I knew came. But it was some people there. And I, I sold a lot of stuff, which is like a bonus. But anyway, <laughs> um, around that time, I had a... Uh, got some shades to sell with my lashes just to kind of make it like more than just lashes because I knew there were going to be other people with lashes there so I still have some shades but like I said I just stopped selling everything like people would ask me and I want to say no but um I just wasn't like as going for it as I usually would um but so I have some shades and I have some lashes and um I don't know what to do with it because like I said I want I, want, I don't want to throw it away like that's money but I don't I don't know like I don't I would give it away that's what I plan to do I plan to just give it away but I don't know how I want to give it away see the thing is I want to start fresh if I'm going to be doing if I'm going to still like pursue my lashes with the hair because that's a good business combined I want to start fresh so the last styles that I do have um, they're out of season for me. Like, th this was like a summer, spring collection. Like, we're damn near in the fall and winter. So, I need a new collection. I need a new start. And I'm willing to continue. Because, like I said, I've been doing lashes for like two years. I'm with it. Like, honestly, it takes time. But when it's there, it's there. When it's not, it's not. But that's just the life of an entrepreneur. Like, sometimes it's here and sometimes it's not. Sometimes you cannot have sales for months. And sometimes for a whole, for like a whole three months, you boom it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be willing to make that sacrifice and you have to just want it that much enough so i'm willing to make the sacrifice and get some new lashes i've already been contacting like new vendors so, i mean i would like my old vendor um from these lashes but baby girl it's just it's too like girl what you, uh, what you got what else you got you know it's like one of those and then yeah it's like what else you got so i have been looking at new vendors and reaching out to new vendors but that's another story regardless so i still have these lashes that i had from um previous you know from, from the pop-up shop and all that down so i wanted to come here well i don't know i wanted to do a giveaway but i'm not sure um i'm not sure what like how would that work like, i don't know what should i do this is just gonna be me announcing the giveaway then i'll just do another video when i'm actually like telling like the rules and all that stuff um so if you have some ideas on how i should go about the giveaway and um how it should work like how many lashes just blase blase then leave that down below in the description box but i wanted to do at least like two to three winners um i have like a decent amount of shades and a decent amount of lashes so maybe like two lashes and a pair of shades per person i don't know anyway or whatever i'm not sure like you know maybe you have to be subscribed or maybe like you know if you're new you subscribe to my channel you can um follow me on instagram and then um share one of my videos and then show me that you share one of my videos and then you're entered into like a raffle and then I'll get on here um I'll do a raffle and then I'll post a video or maybe like I'll get on like live or something and I'll do a raffle or something like that I don't I don't know maybe I'll just do a raffle picking up with the team I don't know anyway I want I really want to do a giveaway because I don't want to let these products and these lashes go to waste I just feel like um that's just money going to waste. Um, I was I was thinking about giving some to one of my friends or whatever like that. But I also want to do something for my YouTube channel. I think this will be just a great branded opportunity for myself and for my YouTube channel, you know, as a whole. So, if you do got an idea, let me know on how to just do the giveaway. I think I should just watch some videos on, like, how to do the giveaways or whatever. I don't know. But if you do got some ideas, leave them down in the description box below. 
Instagram, you know, because lately, I don't know, what the fuck, I don't, I don't even know what to tell y'all, I don't know, I don't know, I'll just give them away, just call me, I'm gonna give it to you, nah, but for real though, if you have some ideas, just leave them in the description box below, um, and I, that's really it for this video, I didn't want it to be super, super long, I just wanted to come to you guys and just let you know, because I know, like, if you have been subscribed, and like, one of my videos, one of my last videos, when I did the, um, when I did the DIY last, um, uh, last casing, last, last, last casing, casing, I think that's what it's called, it got 1.8, um, K views, and I'm just like, big, like, most of all my videos about my, surrounding my videos, um, no, what, most of all my videos surrounding or about my business and my last business got the most views. So I'm like, you know, maybe that's what I need to be, you know, talking about when I get up on this camera. I just been doing like vlogs. Like I went to Atlanta. You know, I got a facial or whatever. I did my eyebrows. This was yesterday. So I did my eyebrows yesterday. So if you see that video or if you're on this video, go click that video if you ain't seen that video. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, I did my eyebrows or whatever. And just a whole bunch of like, you know, here and there because my channel does not have like a direct direction or exact direction. I'm not all over the place, but I have my last business. I do vlogs, you know what I'm saying? I take you out with me, block, you know, DIYs, a lot of DIYs, okay? So, yeah, I did, you know, braids, twists. So, I'm just getting a feel of the whole YouTube environment and just kind of getting my feet wet or whatever the case may be. Anyway, um, I'm six subscribers away from 100 subscribers. So, if you are not subscribed and you're watching this video, please subscribe. Get me to that 100, that 100 subscriber. Or whatever and maybe i could do something like a weird challenge when i get 100 subscribers i don't know though like what should i do i remember when i was doing the whole i only ate like red foods for a day maybe i could do another one when i'm only eating like black foods or like brown foods so if you just leave that in the comment section below as well then we can get it popping for real but what i wanted to show you are you not back now it's a cover <laughs> yeah it's now it's cute though like man it took me a minute i ain't gonna lie. Like, it took me, it didn't take a long time, I just took my fucking tape, stick it up there, boom. But, it's cute though, like, I'm like, I need to come with some, you know, I always got a little white background, it's all regular, regular, whatever the case may be. So, I threw some pink up on them, I love pink, it's my favorite color, and it kind of like, look good, you know. Okay. Anyway, so that kind of wraps up this video, I, like I said, I just wanted to come and um let y'all know what was going on with the vibe was and what to expect next from me like i said if you are with the giveaway whole thing or you feel like i should do a giveaway then in the comment section just leave out some suggestions or ideas on how i could go about that and we're gonna get it popping period okay um so that's it and that's all if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you ain't subscribed subscribe to my channel thank you um, if you ain't subscribed, keep watching. I love you. Thank you. Um, leave a comment if you fucking with me. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Period.